Hello everyone! We are pleased to welcome you to a new Berta style video in which we present Metal 2A, a mini skirt from the number 1 January-February 2022 issue of Birdie Easy. Together we will see how to sew this mini skirt with applied front flat pockets and a decorative cord at the waist. A simple skirt that combines comfort and style. This is a skirt you can also sew for summer. We decided to use a trendy corduroy fabric that you can find on the website of our partner C. Pauly, the specialist for GOTS certified organic fabric. For supplies, you will need matching thread, elastic, a piece of cord, a safety pin, straight pins, a sewing machine needle, fabric scissors, a tape measure, a hand sewing needle, tailor's chalk, a ballpoint pen, a ruler, a tracing wheel, and Berta style tracing paper. Make sure you take your measurements properly and compare them with the table in your magazine. Based on this information, you can determine which Berta style will fit you perfectly. Now cut pieces 1 and 2 of pattern sheet 3 and place them on the fabric in accordance with the layout. Draw the outlines of the pattern pieces and add the seam and hem allowances that are listed in the instructions for the pattern. Also add the lines and notches that you will need to put the model together. Use the ruler and chalk to draw measured pieces A and B on the fabric. To copy the notches and seam lines to the other side of the fabric, I'm using a tracing wheel and Berta style tracing paper. Before I remove the pins from my pattern pieces, I carefully position the paper underneath the fabric and roll the tracing wheel along the pattern piece and the markings. For further details, see the instructions for your Berta style tracing paper. I'm using the Excellence 580 Plus sewing machine from Elma and to neaten the edges, the Elma Extend 864 Air Overlock Machine. I start with the pockets. I neaten the pocket edges, press the allowance of the short edges to the inside, and then do the same with the side edges which are the longest. I pin the pockets to meet the joining lines that I drew with the tailor's chalk beforehand. I stitch them close to the edge and secure the seam at the pocket opening. Now the flaps. I fold the flaps in half, right sides together, and pin the short sides together. I trim the allowances back to 7mm or 1 4th of an inch from the seam, turn the flaps right side out, and press. I position the open edges of the flaps in the overlock machine, leave a 7mm or 1 4th inch seam allowance on the other side of the knife, and neaten the edges together. By doing so, I do not have to trim the allowance before neatening. I pin the flaps to the front pieces, placing the neatened edges 7mm or 1 4th of an inch from the pocket opening. Now I stitch them 7mm or 1 4th of an inch from the edge and secure the seam ends by backstitching. I press the flaps downward and top stitch the seam 7mm or 1 4th of an inch from the edge. I now continue with the side seams. I begin by clipping the allowances 7mm or 1 4th of an inch wide of the fold and then top stitch the side edges of the back piece and front piece. I place the front piece and the back piece right sides together and pin the side seams. I stitch one seam, seam 1, and start the other seam along the fold line. As always, I secure the seams by back stitching. I press the seams apart and press the allowances of the not top stitched facing to the inside. Next step, the casing for the elastic. I need to the upper edge of the skirt and the hem allowance and then press the integrated facing to the inside along the fold line. I pin the facing and stitch it from the right side 3.2 cm or 1 and 1 4th inch away from the edge. Use the marking on the throat plate or use a piece of tape to mark the desired width. I fasten a safety pin to one end of the elastic and pull the safety pin and elastic through the casing on the side seam. I use a safety pin to fasten the ends of the elastic together. Now try in the skirt and adjust the length if necessary. I make sure that the elastic is not twisted and then stitch the ends together. I close the opening in the seam by hand. Next up, the hem. I fold the hem to the inside along the marked hem line, pressing as I fold. I pin it and top stitch from the right side 3.5 cm or 1 and 3 8 of an inch from the edge. Again, you can mark the distance with tape on the throat plate. And finally, the decorative touch. I mark the center front of the casing, place the center of the cord on the marking, 
and then I attach the cord by stitching forward and backward over it several times. I tie a bow with the cord and that the cord ends. Fabulous, the skirt is finished. And for those who think it is too short, there are variants in different lengths. Don't forget to share your creations with us and to exchange with the DIY community on our social networks. I look forward to showing you a new model in the near future. Berta Styles says thank you and recommends its partners Elna and C. Polly. Thank you for following us and see you soon with new Berta Styles tutorials.